No signs of life on efforts after New Zealand volcano eruption. Rescue workers Tuesday couldn't find any of at least eight people missing and feared dead after a volcanic eruption in New Zealand blasted the island with scalding steam and ash. Search crews flying above the island saw no signs of life on White Island, also called Wakari, as they waited for conditions to stabilize for landing and on-the-ground searches. Meanwhile, New Zealand police said they were opening a criminal investigation into the deaths of at least five tourists on the volcanic island. Police Deputy Commissioner John Timms did not go into details of the criminal investigation but said it would sit alongside an investigation by health and safety regulators. The announcement indicates authorities are concerned safety standards may have been breached. A question that figures to be at the forefront of the investigation, why were tourists allowed on the island after seismic on the island after seismic monitoring experts raised the volcano's alert level last month? These questions must be asked and they must be answered, Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern said in Parliament. What is a cone volcano? The science behind the deadly New Zealand eruption. Some survivors were evacuated via helicopter after the eruption Monday afternoon. Russell Clark, an intensive care paramedic worker, said the island blanketed in ask looked like the Chernobyl nuclear disaster. I can only imagine what it was like for the people there at the time, they had nowhere to go, Clark told New Zealand broadcaster TVNZ. Of the 47 people on the island at the time, authorities said 31 survivors were hospitalized, some with severe burns, including Matthew and Laura Nuri, a newlywed couple from. Three other survivors were released. I fear there is worse news to come over the course of perhaps today or over the next few days, Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison said. This is a terrible tragedy, a time of great innocence and joy interrupted by the horror of that eruption. Here's what we know now. What happened on White Island? The eruption occurred just after 2 p.m. local time, according to GeoNet, which tracks volcanic activity in New Zealand. The eruption was short-lived and sent a ash plume soaring about 12,000 feet above the volcano's vent, GeoNet volcanologist Jeff Kilgore said. Videos and photos shared on social media show massive plumes of smoke coming off the island. My God, White Island Volcano in New Zealand erupted today for first time since 2001. My family and I had gotten off it 20 minutes before, were waiting at our boat about to leave when we saw it. Boat ride home tending to people our boat rescued was indescribable. A Royal Caribbean International Cruise Ship, Ovation of the Seas was on the island at the time, the company confirmed. The ship was to sail to Wellington on Monday but instead would remain in the Toranga port overnight, the company said. Kilgore wrote that volcanic activity on the island has since diminished. Volcanic activity on the island reached an alert level of 4 out of 5 immediately after the eruption but has since been lowered to 3, indicating a minor local eruption is in progress. In the scheme of things, for volcanic eruptions, it is not large, Geonet's Ken Gledhill said. But if you were close to that, it is not good. Why were people on White Island? Geonet had raised its alert level on the island from 1 to 2 on November 18 as sulfur dioxide gas increased. According to Geonet, a level 2 warning is means there are unrest hazards on the volcano and could include eruptions of steam, gas, mud and rocks. These eruptions can occur with little or no warning. Get the, the Backstory newsletter in your inbox. Editor-in-Chief Nicole Carroll gives an inside look at the week's must-reads. Geonet had been providing updates on the volcanic unrest on the island in the days leading up to the eruption. Loic van der Klesen, a volcanologist at Drexel University, said he was surprised that tourists were on the island given the volcanic activity. Scientists seem to have been well aware that White Island was entering a phase of heightened activity, he said. A new blow to the FBI, watchdog report details dysfunction, missteps in wiretap of Trump aid. NATO conference cancelled after U.S. Ambassador Carla Sands blocks speaker critical of Trump. 
Patrick Mahomes' girlfriend said security had to move her after treatment from Patriots fans. Like what you see? Download the USA Today app. Where is White Island? White Island is about 30 miles off New Zealand's North Island in the Bay of Plenty. It is also known by its indigenous Maori name Wakari. The Cone Volcano is New Zealand's most active, experts say, and about 70% of it sits under the sea. A shelter was installed in 2016 on the island in case of unexpected eruptions, according to the New Zealand Herald. The island has a history of mining but is now a tourist attraction. The island became a private scenic reserve in 1953, and more than 10,000 people visit the volcano each year on daily tours.